Let's see. Oh. All right. Looks like we are, in fact, live on the internet. What do you think? I was in a good mood, and I'm now instantly in a bad mood. Oh. Because we're live? No. Oh, why are you in a bad mood? I got a brand new watch, and it's not working right. It didn't detect her standing and running around. And so... For three minutes. Four minutes. I was jogging in place trying to get one hour's worth of work so I can be done for the day. Mm. No. Didn't recognize it. <clears throat> well, we'll get it figured out. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be all right. Hey, everybody. Happy Fountain Pen Day. Yeah. Not so happy Audrey's new watch day, unfortunately. I mean, it was happy that it came today. Yeah. Uh, we got here, we got David and Marco. Hey, what's up, Marco? I'll see you here all the time. Elizanda, Beth, Becky, Nancy, Plainscrafter. Beth is here with her yeah. kitten snoring Mom. behind her. Yep. Uh, if her white, might face stuff to save Carol's shipping. Carol's here. Oh, man. Yep. Claire. The 48. Jacob. Yeah. Z Chen, Liana, Ira, Gadget, Brian is up in here. Ah, Orion. Chew. Yep. Hey, Sharon's everybody. Here. Yeah, that watch needs to work better. Is it working? No. Yep. Nope. Uh, so, hey. Sorry, everybody. I just got a text at the same time. No, I thought you were looking down and seeing that it worked, but. It is not. Let's see. Slack Pets channel needs some kitten pics. Mm. I have a great pic of Mr. Nose from yesterday. I was going to post on my Instagram, but I did not. Yeah. Did you ever post to, to my Instagram? Mm. Post? No. Yeah. No Instagramming has been... Let me let me tell you, <laughs> zero Instagramming on any account that we have has been updated today. So I was in a, uh, I was in a Zoom meeting yesterday, and um, Mr. Nose was sitting on my desk being kind of ridiculous. Uh, he really likes that when, I, when you rub his chin. And he got distracted, and he made this face, which I'm told is known as a blep. Oh, yeah, it's a blep, yeah. A cat blep. Uh, here's, here's a side profile of our blepping animal. I don't know which I like better. I think I like that one better. I like this a little bit better, too. It's yeah. not his face on, no. but it does like show off those whiskers. I, I like the whiskers, and I mm -hmm. like you can see the curve of his tongue. Yeah, yeah. I think if I lighten that one up a little bit, yeah. it'll, be, uh, it'll be even better. Just get some more detail in his in his face. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. You can see an eyeball now. It's pretty good. Maybe that's the new uh, the new nose sticker. I don't know if I brighten oh. it up enough. Maybe. I, don't know. I don't know, man. So yeah, that's some nose kernel panic. I don't know what that means. Uh, great kitten pics. Mythic pen is scheduled for delivery day and more likely to be delivered tomorrow. Womp womp. How the post office has been, huh? Uh huh. That's how post office goes sometimes. Concurrent viewer says zero. I feel like there's probably more it than happens. zero people here. No, it it bleeps down. Huh. Well, it says we've had 54 people watching already, so. Uh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> all the Linux people here just died with that joke. Uh, where's where, the... <laughs> where are the Mike Penn reps? So, funny story about that. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I thought it would go, uh, I placed a gold spot order the other day and totally forgot to use my codes. Oh, that's no good. Hmm. Send them an email. I'll be like, hey, apply my codes. Um, that's too bad. Uh... So, funny story about the, the Mike Head pen wraps, Claire. I thought last week that it was going to come up because there's always somebody who's got to mention Mike Head pen wraps. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get ahead of that. So, I actually, oh, you already shipped? Well, uh, <laughs> I already, uh, or rather, that already shipped. I contacted uh, Rick from Rickshaw, yep. that is Mark, mm -hmm. and uh, said, hey, so I have some, uh, I have some friends online who think it would be hilarious to have a pen wrap with my big dumb face on it. Um, is that a thing you want to make? And he's like, yeah, I'll totally put your face on things. So first step has happened. Uh, I have contacted, uh, I yeah. contacted Rickshaw and my dear friends want a thing. That is, yeah, pretty much. And uh, he's like, yeah, cool, I'm into it. So I got to send him some art. Uh, so I got to send him some art of my face, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if I want to use the same picture or not because I don't really, I don't know if I look like that anymore. I don't know. Let's see how it goes, but... I feel like it's going to be one of those things that, you know, you had your intro, and then you did the intro again at a different time, and you've never really liked it as much. I feel yeah. like that picture is the picture that you like, and yeah. it's going to be very, very hard to get it to be as good. It's not going to be the same, but as good. Yeah. 
Well, and uh, our friend JC took that picture. Mm -hmm. And I only see him at pin shows and only like one pin show. And so I don't, I don't know. I think he was at the last uh, Baltimore Philly or something. He Maybe wasn't a... this year. He wasn't in Baltimore. He wasn't? Mm -mm. Maybe he was at Philly. Must have been Philly. Was he at Philly? That doesn't seem right. Any um, No. So, uh, no, he was definitely at Baltimore because he had this like whole book thing he was doing. It was, uh, it was a whole project. Rickshaw makes face masks too. We can have a Mike face face mask. I don't know. I don't know if he does, uh, I don't know if he prints the fabric for face masks. Like maybe that's a different thing. I don't actually know. I don't know. For Fountain Dave, sure to give them a thumbs up. Okay. Uh, he'll put my face on things. He will put my face on things. He will. Um, also, you don't want a mic face face mask. Like, I don't even know what that would be like. I feel like it would be fun because it would just be like this on you and your beard and stuff. And oh, so you lips. think I should just, I should get you to take a face on picture of me like, and just like put this, this on a, this part put this on a face mask. mask? Of your, I mean, like this. So this part of you, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Denise, uh, it would be creepy. It would be super duper. But creepy. I think that's the point in this. I don't. I don't think anybody should have that. I don't even know if I want to make. <laughs> I should just have Mike's beard. I don't know if I even want to have Mark have to make that or see it. That seems like it would be horrifying. Uh, but yeah, I have sort of uh, started the ball rolling. Speaking for... of horrifying. Oh yeah, speaking of horrifying. And by horrifying, I mean amazing. Uh, this is a thing now. This is the Audacity keychain for Odd. Odd Audacity. Uh, so uh, I had some of these made because I thought it would be awesome. Uh, Audrey, I feel I've been... like they look better in person than they do. It does. I look, it looks a little pixelated on there, and I don't really know why. On your other monitor, it looked okay. So I think it's just that monitor looks weird. It could be. I don't know. Looks like... Uh, I, I know a lot of you like would want to have my face in your pocket. Yeah. On your keys. Maybe your keys are lonely. Uh, in your not, purse. Not everybody you know. can get one because I only have like nine of them. Well, uh, so. I, I would be shocked if... More than nine of you out there <laughs> would want a keychain with my face on it. One day it'll be smizing upon your inky trash panda keychain. That is a picture uh -huh. of me smizing. Yep, this is, uh, this is Audrey doing her smize. There you go. Smiling with eyes. Solid picture. Uh, and I kind of did it as a joke because I've had my dumb face on things and Audrey has always refused to. And so I just did it. Uh, if you used a keychain, you'd get one. Well, I get it. Uh... Although, look, if you don't have a keychain, maybe you need one for your keys. And there's a discount for Fountain Pen Day. Oh, yeah. I should probably... <laughs> you should probably uh, mention that, too. I should probably mention that. Only if it'll give you plus five nib grinding skills. It might. What's your nib grinding skill at right now? Is it negative five? Because it could probably give you plus five. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's a code. Now's the time. There is a code. The code, which I should probably put in some text somewhere. Let me add a little text thing. Hey, Audrey, be uh, entertaining for a sec. Oh, that's really hard. I'm still mad about my watch. I didn't buy anything else for pen stuff this week or today. But there are good deals out there. We can discuss some Fountain Pen Day deals out there because I know I've been getting some emails about Fountain Pen Day, whatever percent off. And at least for, who did I get emails from? I got emails from Goldspot and Goulet. Lemur Inc. And Lemur Inc. I think those are the ones. John Goals. Oh, I did get one. That wasn't today. I think I got it last night or something. Oh, I got that one today. Oh. Well, maybe it was today. Maybe maybe what's a day? I think it what was is today. It? Let me see. Uh, Black Ember wants me to buy a backpack, Audrey. Oh, no, great. They do. They want me to buy it. Gold Spot has, uh, has got deals going on uh, on things. They have a new... Uh, they have a new... Kaveco? Can, can I share this? Display capture. Yeah. They have a new Kaveco, which is fun. Uh, so meet up virtually on the Gold Spot YouTube channel at 4.30 p.m. Oh, that was half an hour ago. I, yep. I didn't read that, so I didn't go. Uh, but yeah, they have the Kaveco Sport Transparent Classic Blue, which looks kind of cool. Interesting. It doesn't look transparent. I think you can see it like right up That's in here. That's the only part that I can see. Yeah. Like, I wish they would have shown it with one. Put a light behind it. Or put, yeah, yeah. put one that didn't. Was it yeah. capped like that or something? Yeah. Or I, posted? I or? do like the really dark blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice blue. Yeah. Um, 
You can get a free Atoya Oasis notebook. Those are legit good when you buy stuff. Mm -hmm. Free converters. Yep, that's a thing. Uh, let me turn off my display capture right quick. Uh, yep, so they got stuff. Uh, Bertram's Inkwell has stuff going on. I think Shigura Inks has some on sale too. Don't they have a thing? I thought they I saw? do. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to. I was just off the top of my head. I yeah. think I saw that. That's uh, uh, Nook Brown Pen Sleeve with fountain pen purchase over fifty bucks. But actually, that's pretty good. Those pen sleeves are not cheap. Oh really? Yeah. Um, they're not super expensive, but look at that. I want one of those. Can I have that, Audrey? Mm. That's a G10 Newton Prospector. Well, it's probably one of those. That's a zillion <laughs> dollars. Yeah, it yeah. destroyed all of his stuff. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's the deal from there. Uh, who else do we have stuff from? Beth bought nail polish today. I have not. Surprise. I haven't even looked on Polish Pickup. If you're interested in nail polish, polishpickup.com. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it has to be polishpickup.com. Um, they have a monthly three days you can buy nail polishes. That's good for only one. Um, it's exclusive for those three days in that box. And this month is red carpet. Red carpet. Hmm. Yep. Got, what else was I going to say? I don't know. Got drum goals. Yep. They're giving away... Uh, same same thing. Purchase of pens and stuff. Hobonichi stuff is ten percent off. Oh wow, that's not common, is no, it? I mean, no, it's not. Uh, free random Monteverde ink with any uh, I mean, fountain pen purchase. You're not in that gonna range. go wrong. I mean, three free inks of your choice with a fountain pen of fifty bucks and up. Wow, that's that's, that's pretty good. Decent, yeah. <laughs> what was the one I got when I got that diplomat? Was it like buy a diplomat arrow get six free inks or something like that? Or was it ten? It was so many. It was like, I don't know. It was, it was a, a lot of. It them. was a box of inks. Yeah. yeah, so many. Got an update for a custom pen today. Oh yeah, who yeah. you made a it custom was 10, pen from? Yeah, yeah, ten. That was a lot. Uh, like they were running out of stuff left and right. Uh, pen boutiques got a thing going on. What do we have here? Uh, I just don't sign up for as many emails as you do. Well, but it may make sense what uh, you do. Yeah. Oh, if you're uh, on. This is the thing I wanted to talk about actually. Okay. Um, mystery product for fountain pen day. I'm actually kind of, I'm kind of tempted to go for this. It's 50 bucks. I don't know what it is. Nose is really saying hello to everybody. He's really saying stuff back there. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it seems like it's pretty cool. So, yep, there's that. Um, hmm. I mean, I understand the price point, but... I'm used to in the nail polish world to getting a couple for like twenty five, and then it's not as like big a of a deal. Of yeah. Yeah, I mean it says it was marked down from eighty, limited yeah. limited two hundred of them. There's a chance you may get a premium pen. And I'm sure there's, oh, there's you're gonna get of... some good stuff, but there's oh, the mystery. So it's it. not just one thing. So it says this fountain pen day we're doing it with a twist. Let me uh, bring my display back up here. If you're lucky, you'll get the Sailor 1911, the green that they have. Oh, the Kegero green. Visconti yeah. Mirage, Parker Duofold, Montagrafa Fortuna, uh, Fabricastel Pearwood, Waterman Perspective, Conklin Golden Walnut Wood. I don't care as much about that one. Cross Ferrari Fountain Pen as a bonus for celebrating. I mean, some of those are very serious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, please don't reveal the product, but don't hesitate to leave a review, keeping the mystery alive. Various combinations of fountain pens, you get a minimum of $80 or more in value. Um, not going to tell you what it is or take requests. Only one. You can't get like, yeah. <laughs> I mean. Uh, yeah. And there's always that. If you get multiple ones, are you going to get the same stuff? And, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you probably would, right? Yeah. Yeah. It depends though. Sometimes, sometimes makers will tell you, oh, we have this amount available. So we can guarantee this amount won't have duplicates. Yeah. But that's a lot of work. Becky picked up her big old bag of uh, fountain pen day goodies downtown. Oh, that's right. I yeah. remember she picked up mm -hmm. for a friend of ours that couldn't make it, unfortunately. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Because of, of illness. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we talked about these a little bit last time, which are the uh, Esterbrook and uh, uh, fountain pen day washi tape sets. There's four, four of them here, obviously. But if you have a brick and mortar store that has Esterbrook, or you have a friend who lives near a brick and mortar, yeah. brick and, brick and mortar store mm -hmm. that has Esterbrook, uh, you can just go in and ask for them. Yep. 
and they'll give them to you they're free you don't yeah you don't have to buy anything yeah it's not we like probably risk. will because you yeah, know it'd be weird not to right but um, I mean, if I go to a pen store, I'm buying something. Hmm. That's uh, that's what happens. Always. Almost yeah. always. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, free washi tape, so check that out. Uh, let's see, picked up a Memento Zero from Pen Venture today. Only have to wait two days for it. That's cool. I don't know Pen Venture. Is that a, is that a website? Uh, David bought some inks today. I haven't bought anything. Yeah, I know. For Fountain Pen Day. If you are on Instagram, follow and like and comment on the Franklin Christoph. You just post? have to like it. Oh, is it just like? Well, yeah. you get an extra tag if you or if you tag, you get an extra chance. Anyway, uh, Scott was nice enough to give ten one hundred dollar gift cards to FC. So I mean that's pretty decent. So make sure to sign up for that. Yeah, that's the post. Go go, go to there. Ah, uh, that is, does not. You gotta get your face out of that. Way. I might. I was behind your arm. <laughs> we can't get our faces out of it. It's impossible. There we go. Thousand dollar giveaway, man. Yep, bunch of hundred dollar gift cards. I liked it. All I have to do is like this post. I was uh, like, can I like it? Okay. <laughs> I haven't worked there, but you should. Bonus entry for tagging one friend. Note: We'll draw ten winners on Sunday. There are seven hundred and forty eight comments. Uh, one thousand two hundred and sixty one likes. So. You know, the odds are are getting worse. I probably we probably yes, shouldn't have yeah, told Yeah, we shouldn't have told anybody. <laughs> but that's how it goes. Any converters oh, has an go. Instagram giveaway too. She has oh, some yeah? great fun stuff, yeah. Nice. Uh, I haven't looked at hers yet. I've been I was in meetings and stuff mm -hmm. until and Audrey was out and so Yep. I haven't I N K I uh there she is. Angela, Fountain Pen Day giveaway. What are you giving away? Celebrate Fountain Pen Day. I'm running another giveaway this year. Each of my... Something. Uh, one of each of my washi, washi tape designs. It's weird that it, like, focuses and then forgets how. It's like, no, just kidding. Fountain pen or... Uh, anyway. uh. Fountain pen or ink bottle face mask. Oh, that's fun. Two keychains, one enamel pen, ten stickers. Wow. That's, uh, that's a lot of stuff. So, yeah, go there. Definitely. Yep. Yep, so that's a fun thing. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of good fountain pen day deals going on. Yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. So right here it says 74 people are watching, and out here it says zero people. Are yeah, it's watching. doing weird things where it's dipping. And... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Uh, Denise made her first cult pens purchase, and she got the Pelican Star Ruby. Oh, nice. That's a good looking star. Uh, uh, it's not over there anymore. Mike finally moved some of my pens, and it used to be over here. <sighs> yeah, I got around to moving things, and now it's gone. Uh, Lemur Inc., our mm -hmm. friend John Phelan. 15% off of all the stuff. FPD 20. Almost as good as mine, which is FPD 2020 for 15% off. And mm -hmm. I put up my uh, post just before he did. So I'm thinking he stole my idea. But that's cool. That's cool. I mean... Uh -huh. I don't really think that's true. No? Okay, fair enough. I th fair enough. I think maybe the email just went out at that time, and oh. it was already, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Anderson Pens has all kinds of uh, specials and sales and things going on, it appears. Oh, Mont Blanc, 10% off all in-stock Mont Blancs. We have a lot of friends that are really into Mont Blanc. Yeah. Yeah. It's sort of scary, because I have my one... Thank you. You know who you are. Mm -hmm. Still love uh, him the pen. Niv Smith, Goulet, Pen Chalet is, uh, is doing stuff. Are they doing 10% off with FP Day 2020 at the Pen Chalet? Is that stackable? I don't know. Not usually, I don't think. So it's always, so it's the same as usual then? Yeah, it might be. Which is not, look, the fact yeah. that they give it all the time is yeah, yeah. great. Pretty good. If you... Oh, here's the Shiger one. Oh, yeah. Uh... If you are a Patreon, thank you. But you always get a ten percent discount on Gold Spot. Yeah, too. Gold Spot. So uh, they don't really have very many no, of the discount don't. codes. It's true. Uh, Fountain Pen Day sale, uh, uh, fifteen percent off the following brands using that code FPD twenty twenty. I mean um, the Tom on the Limbs and Lennon Toolbar. Those are not not cheap. cheap. 
iPaper has some really cool looking inks. I haven't mm -hmm. used them, but I have a couple of samples. Oh, do you? Hmm. Yeah, our friend Sandra had them. And, oh, um, okay. She gave me a couple of samples. I know people are talking about the iris. I don't yeah. hate it. No, I don't hate it at all. I think we just discussed that. Yeah. I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm going to buy one. Mm. I would love to have, be able to pick one in person. Oh. Look at that set. If you bought it, did you get the case? I mean, yeah, I would, that would be nice. It's $2,700. Yeah. Look, so $2,700 is a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, you get is. 10 pens. And I hope you get that sick case because I now mean, I know why look, people are doing like group buys for that stuff. People spend that much on one pen and more easily. That's true. And, and these just, are ones that you can't get anymore except for the for the one that's this year's, obviously. I just got a new, another email for a uh, pen shell, uh, pen chalet. Like, no, come back <laughs> no, and really, look. Get over here. Get over here. Hey, Braden, what's up, man? Greg, that is about two seventy. Yep. Uh, I know this <laughs> oh, because okay. yeah. I almost bought one. Yeah. And then Mike's like, two seventy. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. So maybe, um, maybe we'll, there'll be one that you know. The one that I like is the 2021, and I think that's going to be available at other mm, places. Yeah. So. Uh, for sure, it was the first comment on the FC giveaway post. Nice, Denise. Mm -hmm. Way to be quick on the gun. Actually, I went there, like, it popped up on my phone, so I poked the thing, and I mm -hmm. liked it, and I was not the first person no. liking it. Like, people were on that quick. Uh, Unwan, hey, happy Fountain Pen Day. Greg Cockburn, what's up? Hey, all back from picking up your kid from school. Cool, cool, cool. Did you see DNC's that he bought a Homo sapiens blizzard after watching your video? I did not. Where's that? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Recently bought a Homo sapiens Blue blizzard. Your fountain pen day budget. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I get I, it. I really thought Mike was going to buy one of those, and he actually didn't. It was a close thing. I um, I didn't. And so. you like the other ones. I do. Like the original version. Yeah. and. The nibs were spotty on it, so you were sort of happy that yeah. you didn't get one. And now the nibs are great, and you liked it. So I was like, oh, you're going to buy one of those, right? And you said no. I, uh, no. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, I just didn't do it. Uh, oh, Very Beth is though. sending me an ink sample. Aww. That's, thanks, Beth. Um, I got my first pen pal letter, by the way. You did? I oh, did. yeah, you did. I did. So I'm excited. I've not written back yet. Oh, you better write back. But... I am excited to do that this weekend. I'm not, I'm not going, like I said, I wanted to receive, but actually returning is the hard part. No, I'm excited. I'm going to send. I don't know if that person, they say they watch sometimes. I'm a, they're friends. They're not but. watching. <gasps> they're not watching. They might not be No way they watch. Um, let's see. Uh, Tina Tree. Hello. I almost forgot to come in. Still working on some shop. Oh, after some shopping today. Mm -hmm. uh, Mont Blanc hurts my wallet, but I like it. Yeah. I don't have any except for the one I borrowed. So uh, Nancy says unexpected expense. No fountain pen for you. Well, Aww, I hope you get you past that. Uh, Apple Boom. Oh yeah, Apple Boom has a twenty percent off promo. Um, mm. Braden's been missing a lot of streams. Glad Braden's Aww. back around yeah. here. Hope school's going all right for you, Braden. Uh, Jet Pen says two beginner fountain pens free oh, for I orders over that. eighty. Over eighty? Yeah, I got that one today too. That's cool. I had I didn't get that one weirdly enough. Hmm. Um, I was in a parking lot, so I really didn't have a chance to really look at it. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, John Gould's has a uh, has a pen show at San Antonio, San Antonio, but I think it's more yeah. like a pop up shop, like like a big pop up shop maybe. But um, yep, they do that. Greg Cockburn, so far I haven't had haven't bought anything. Got a Pilot Eight Twenty Three earlier this week, so you think you're good. That is that a is, good pen. No, yeah, that's one of Mike's favorites. Uh, nice pen. In the I don't have of one. That's the only reason why I, I can't say that. I don't love the ink that comes with that one. That's the the Pilot Blue. It's a nice bottle, but the blue, I think, is not quite as good as the blue-black. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's okay. Uh, but the pen is great. I actually got an email from somebody who watches these and may be watching now um, a few weeks ago saying, hey, I want to get some a present for a friend of mine, and mm -hmm. like I want to see if they're into, I want to get, kind of get them into pens. And they ended up getting their friend an 823 and some ink and some oh, paper. You must be a good friend. Which I is... Mean. I don't think any of my friends are buying the 823s, so that's awesome. Or contacting a YouTuber and be like, hey, what should I buy right. for this friend? What would yeah. be a good thing? And I didn't that's just like start off with 823. Yeah. Well, I did, but that's because they said, 
I've got a three hundred dollars. Yeah, budget. there's they gave a budget, which yeah. I think is really important. If you're gonna Super ask important. what should I get somebody, always include the, <laughs> That's right. the budget for that. Yeah. Um, Greg wants to know, have you played around with the platinum mix free inks at all? I've used like not very many, but probably two or three of those mix free inks. Um, I like them a lot. Which I've never. What are those? I don't remember. Uh, you know, that's the thing about the platinum mix free inks oh. is nobody thinks about them. Oh. Because I only know the regular. Like, that's platinum. And then they're all mix free. They have the iron gall ones. Platinum. Oh yeah, that's right. They do have the iron gall. What do they call those? I, classic or something like classic, that. The classic, I think. I, um, I think of those, but I don't mm. know the mix. Free. The mix free are more basic sorts of colors. Mm. Um, I mean, then, yeah, the primary ones you can mix your own. Oh, not really, not like primary, but I mean, I guess ones that. Are the most basic four formulas, I would guess. You'd think that. Okay. And they do have those. But they also have, like, really bright pink and things like that. And by oh. the way, that is the best pink ink I've used. Better than the Kala? Um, I haven't used the Kala one yet. Oh, well. uh, but the, the pink one from Platinum is uh, escaping my mind right at the moment. I can't remember what it's called. But it is a brilliant pink ink. The problem with the mixed free ink is they're kind of on the expensive side. Like they come in a big bottle mm -hmm. and they're pretty pricey. Uh, but I've never had a bad experience with them. I think they're very good. Um, hey everyone, this is my first time actually commenting on your live streams. What's up, Ben? Welcome. Hi, yeah. Happy International Fountain Pen Day from the UK. Oh, there you go. Uh, Tony says his reply pile is a year old, so you can't possibly do worse than him. Yeah. I do have, uh, I have a folder that I've just kind of reconciled myself to not replying to. That's from from Inko Rymo uh, a, a long time ago, two years ago, maybe. Uh, I did reply to most of them this year, I think. Good job. I think. But uh, pretty much like what they did in Dallas. Yeah, I think that's the deal. Mm -hmm. uh, Stilo Stile in Rome has a 10% discount. Mm. They've got discounts in Rome. And she also got a custom 74 this week as well. Who did? Oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, um, Rosmarin, Rosmaranis? No. This one? Keep going. Oh, up. I love my custom 74. Oh. There you go. Oh. Uh, Alicia got a Pilot Custom 74. You can't go wrong with that. It's I a didn't want to say the name wrong. I'm sorry. That's why I didn't say it. I'm like, I'm not I, sure I, how I'm saying okay, it right Okay, if that's wrong, I'm sorry. That's why I didn't say the name. I'm like, oh, no, I was, I'm going to say something terrible. So No, I was calling them Letitia for a while, and I, I realized there's not. That's what I thought you yeah. you were saying. I'm like, that's not how it looks, so I'm just going to not. But, yeah. yes, I have a 74 as well, and mm -hmm. I really like it. Yeah, I've had a few. And it's I, a um, great price. I mean, well, well, I guess I got it secondhand, yeah. so I can't say that. So you can find them secondhand, and it's just Great pen. They're like 160 bucks new, I think. They're not Oh, cheap. but that's the converter that people hate, though, right? Uh, no. Well, really? it's got the push-button converter yeah. a lot of times. That's what... That's... I thought you hated that one. I don't hate it. It's it's the... Didn't we have a discussion about how you hated it last no, week? No, it's, it's like most of them are terrible, and that one's like, mm. I think, the best of the bad <laughs> set of them. I don't know. It's it's it's, it's a little ticklish because you got to push down on the, the plunger, mm. and it feels dangerous, but I've never ruined anything with it. Uh, let's see. So you know, Pilot USA is getting into Fountain Pen Day now. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. If you ask Alexa when Fountain Pen Day is, she'll tell you. Yep. Like, it's, it's a Nancy real thing. Nancy got flowers from her sister for her birthday tomorrow. Happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. Audrey and I had our anniversary this week. We did on uh, election night. <laughs> Tuesday, election night. Uh, we got it was some, very uh, romantic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was. We, uh, we, we got takeout steaks. Yep. Uh, and we watched BTS videos. We finished The Queen's Gambit. Yeah, we watched The uh -huh. Queen's Gambit. If you yeah. haven't watched that, you should watch it. It was Since good. It's on TV, yeah. It's like a really long movie. Mm -hmm. About chess. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Um, Cyclamen, that's the one, Denise. Cyclamen Pink is very good. Cyclamen, the green I've is really that, good. Yeah. yeah, they got several good ones. And also, if you go to Platinum's website, I think they'll give you um, like recipes for inks that you can make with it. Well, that's nice. That's a really yeah. good idea. The Procyon, I think, actually comes with like four cartridges, and three of them are mixes. Oh, that's nice. And it tells you what the mix is, like what the proportion yeah, is for each of That's really good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, Zave, hey guys, first time to come up and say hi from here in Down Under. It is early oh, in the Down Oh, it unders. is early for you. Good morning. Maybe it's not as bad because we are under standard time now. I don't remember how that will affect don't it, Don't remember though. if they switch or not? I don't know. I doubt it, but also I'm not sure if that means that they would... It's all back. Yeah. 
So it might be an hour later for them, so it might be a little bit better. Still too early. It's still early, yeah. Uh, you just can't clean the Con 70? Yeah, de dedicate a... a yeah, Jacob is about chess, but also this girl, this uh, life of a chess player, and so it's not just... Yeah, it's about... Uh, the, the main character is a chess prodigy. It's it's like a character piece, but there's and, a bunch of chess in there, too. And the it's, trials and tribulations of this, this... Of genius. Yeah. Yeah, she's great. It's a it's a great, great show. Uh, let's see. And isn't it great? Yeah, Carol, I know I saw you say on, I think it was Instagram that you just, that you had finished it a few days before we did. And it was great. And I agree. It's totally good. Um, don't worry about the name. My name is Agnes. <laughs> well, oh, well now we're, now okay. we're going to remember that. Like, so everyone's been like, why are they saying that person's name right. and saying Who Agnes? Agnes? <laughs> um, John said, or, uh, Tucker says happy anniversary. Congratulations. Thank that's, you. That's 13 years. Uh, Lucky 13 on that presidential election day. <laughs> in 2020. Day. I mean, in 2020. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty fitting if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite, the, quite the conflagration. Uh, medium, it's perfect. You know, I've got a medium as well, and it's great. In the, the 70? Uh, 74, yeah. Oh, the 74. Yeah. 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 I have a fine. I think yours is a medium fine. Or... Is it a fine? Just a regular fine? I'm, I think both the you're, pilots I, I right. have are fines. Right. It is a fantastic fine. It is. Dude. It is so both good. Both those fines that I have on right. my 92 and 74 are fines. Love them both. Hmm. Your husband just beat Hades? I don't even know. How, that's amazing. Good job. Good job, Beth's husband. It's a video game. I know. Okay. Uh, I was playing that on Twitch. If you want to see somebody play Hades uh, not as well as Beth's husband, uh, you can watch me do that sometimes uh, here. That was pretty good. Yeah, uh, I was surprised you did as well as you did. <laughs> um, let's see. Best way you found to get the uh, Con 70 clean, says Greg Cockburn, is put the whole thing in the water and activate it. It gets water all over it. Don't you? Yeah, I I haven't done that. I'll put it in a, in a, a shot glass. Fill a little water in the shot glass and then put that in my ultrasonic. And that does a pretty okay job. Uh, I've got a soft fine here, 74 in black, and it's mm. awesome. I've never used the Pilot soft fine. Sounds cool, though. Oh, yeah, you have, and that's true. Well, they don't have it. They've only got yeah. it in the black the ones bonds. from overseas, yep. and mm -hmm. I don't have one of those. And the poetry got a fine nib on the vanishing point. It's amazing. You have some problems with mediums. On some um, vanishing points, isn't that what it is? Yeah, vanishing point mediums always need a little bit of t touching up for me. They mm -hmm. tend That's to be what like because I, I know you always had Jim take a look at them because every time. they were just there was just they, something about your writing in that nib. For me, they're like kind of over polished and they tend to squeak when I write, and I hate that squeaky. I don't thing. mind that. Yeah, it drives I, me right up the wall. Well, it also depends on what paper and stuff you use. That it doesn't really. That's really, really. Yeah. That's really weird. The only way I found to stop that from happening mm -hmm. on my first one before I was like buddies with a bunch ink. of nib grinders was like, ink, yeah. and it was um, uh, that pigmented blue black from Roaring Klingner Salix. Oh. That was the only ink that I used in that pen for like two years because it was huh. the only one that didn't make it squeak. Did you see the Papier Plume pen? Jacob asks. Um, I've seen a couple of pictures of the Papier Plume pen. That's the one with like the, the bayou looking clip mm, yep. and it's made of like that. bog yep. wood or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've only seen a couple of pictures and really it's always been close ups of the clip. I haven't seen the rest of the pen, so I don't yeah. know what's going on there. Yeah. Um, let's see, I have a soft fine medium in your custom heritage 91. It's a great writer. My, do I have a 91 or is it a 92? You have a 92. You know what? I think I actually have both of those, but the 92 is the one I was, the orange one. Yeah, that one's that's a 92, it's... so I have the blue, and yeah. you have the orange. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is absurdly wet. That medium is out of control wet. Um, if if making nibs were drier weren't such a pain, I'd probably have you try to do it. John, I see what you're saying, but if you look at this picture, it is not flattering. Like, your significant others would be like, oh, who is this and why is it on a key, your keychain? It's it's not like there's no <laughs> scandalous things going on here. So if I had a keychain of a guy that just was like somebody, it wasn't a famous person mm. or something, what would you say? I don't I'd say 13 years was a good go. Well, Mike would be like, who's that? <laughs> Literally, I mean, but again, that's sort of our mm -hmm. relationship is not like, who... Who is this person on your thing? Yeah, or yeah, a yeah. woman text you? We're like, oh, cool. Constantly. What's up? Yeah. yeah. But I can understand that not not everyone is that way. 
Better to put Mike's head on the other side. Yeah, unfortunately, these uh, particular keychains are only one sided. They're they're blank on the back. Uh, Inky Converters has better has two sided keychains. I mean, you just chains. get a picture and just and just cut it in that shape <laughs> so and just, just stick it on the it's back. It's just like just this part of my face. Yes. <laughs> yep. Uh, to me, you're a pretty young woman. I, I mean, I think she is a pretty young woman. Mm. Uh, Krishna also has a giveaway on Instagram for Fountain Pen Day. Awesome. Awesome. Oh. Uh, is that Krishna Inks or? I assume um, so. Could be. You uh, need to do some of those reviews, by the way. Oh, I know. I know. He has many of them, and you have not done any of them. I know. Um, one of these days, I'll I'll get through my my ink pile, but. Yeah, David says you have to date someone in the hobby so they get the keychain. Uh, yeah, that's right. That may limit your options. A <laughs> Lisa little says bit. you're very pretty, but that keychain isn't necessarily a bombshell. <laughs> Well, it's kind of weird because it's a disembodied head, I think, is the... I agree with both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's fun. But whatever. There's only nine like, of there them. There are many worse pictures of me out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Many more. So yeah. I'm not offended by that. But I would also say I look usually look better than that. <laughs> I like this picture of you, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's fine. Yes, Krishna Inks. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, I haven't done a Krishna Ink in a little while. I need to do that. My focus right now, honestly, has been on trying to whittle down my number of pens I have currently inked. It's not going I super well. I was just well, say, I don't honest. think it's going well. Well, it's not. But I am working on that. Uh, and I've got uh, some ink reviews over here ready to go that I need to film. It's just been like this week has been a month long, and also there hasn't been enough time in it. So same. Um, I've been trying to tune all the nibs that we have. Oh yeah, why is that? Why would you have to tune all the nibs? November tenth, FC online pen show. Oh yeah, that's a good plug there, right there. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I was really prepared for it. Um, yeah. That was me knocking it out of the 30, park. Thirty plus yeah. pen models in mm -hmm. one time, and so I will not be here next week. No, we won't have Audrey next week. Mm -mm. I may try to find another uh, person to sit in just so, like, you don't have to just look at my, my face uh, People out. only had you for a very long time. I know. This is a newer yeah. thing. It's been years. Oh. Years. I remember I used to sit back there and just come in <laughs> once in a while and just sit back there. You'd come back there and just, like, sneak in, and uh, every once in a while you'd yell something And you have audience. ink in your hand, you go, like that. Oh, yeah, that was a good picture. Uh, my first live stream was in uh, uh, June... July of 2017. That doesn't seem that long ago, but that makes me sound like an old person who would I say that's, that's three. three years ago. Yeah. I, I found a uh, an email from when I backed the first Hippo Noto Kickstarter. That was in 2017. Was it? Hmm. Right? Yeah, it's amazing how many things were merely three years ago. Uh, being an Englishman with a weird sense of humor, when I first saw that head dangling, I thought of Henry the <laughs> Henry the <VIII. laughs> Uh, I, as you can see, uh, her head is still attached. Um, so that's, uh... Yes, we're celebrating <laughs> the Marine Corps birthday with the pen show. That's right. That's right. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. There you and go. Denise is down to eight inked pens. And I bother, and now she's back to 20 or so. I can't, I can't, I don't want to count right now. Mm -hmm. It'd be bad. Um, and the problem is I got two pens recently, um, that I've inked up. Three pens recently, kind of. Four pens recently that I've kind of inked up. The count, man. I have zero. Well, I got this one, which is uh, oh yeah, which is uh, a tactile turn gist in uh, all white Delrin, white on white. Uh, and I, in this pen, I have this ink which I got that's new. This is the Hippo Noto Kiwi ink, mm -hmm. um, which I, you liked. I really actually like this ink quite yeah. a lot. I'm surprised um, we, have, we haven't actually talked about that. But you still need to do that purchase with the Patreon and picking out the customization. For yeah, it. I probably should. Uh, I haven't yep. done that yet. So I got that one. And then I got uh, this one. If you're watching the... Um, True Fae video? The, yeah, the True Fae unboxing video. This is the champagne-colored diplomat Aereo, uh, <laughs> which I can't say words. Um, which I was convinced to uh, ink up with a Jacques Urban uh, Rouge Rouge de Orient, uh, I think. Yeah, I'm um, shocked that they somehow got an arrow yeah. in a color that you did not have yeah. and one that you're okay with. I know. That's 
slim pickings they had and they got that was luck well that's their uh exclusive oh, arrow that's why i didn't have it because that well, yeah. makes sense then yeah uh, and then I have this one that my friend uh, John Albert made for us. Yep. Um, which is fantastic. Ultim. And then uh, I got another one. Oh, this Diplomat that I got a couple of weeks ago. This uh, Excellence A in uh, Skyline Red. So, yeah, all those, I got those and I inked them all up. So that's uh, that's why, I, those are the only ones I've inked up recently. The that, Albert like, we got a while ago and you've shown it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I think I've shown all of these except for the Oh, is that right? The Arrow. Oh, okay. I think. But those are the, I got those recently and I inked them up because I wanted to. I have mostly used up a converter full of my arrow for the first time. Very nice. I bought the pen home to refill it with the same ink for the pen show next week. I signed a lot of things, but I can continue signing for a while. And so you I need do it to... the same ink? Do you I'm remember what it do... was? Yes. It is the Colorverse ink for the dallas show oh yeah that purple Did, cosmos yeah, yeah, yeah um purple cosmo in cosmo fact. yeah you like that huh yeah cool and we can put this hippo note in there if you want you could have sheeny glittery name yeah do you think it would i mean you are not okay with mixing ink i mean i would clean out the other oh ink. i mean because i'm not a barbarian I like to live a, live a little dangerously. I would never recommend other people to do that. Do as I uh, say, not as I do. Yeah. Um, let's see. Got a few here I missed. Uh, Claire is up to three inked pens. Oh, wow. Um, uh, wait, wait, quadrupod. Is quadrupod pop in here? Could have. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, only because your pen pillow. Oh. Her pin pillow holds three three pens, so she has three pens inked. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's sensible. Totally. Uh, Catherine says seven. Uh, Catherine, Christine, goodness, seven inked pens, one for each day of the week. Oh. Yep. Uh, Tina finally pulled the trigger on a Waterman Kareen. What are yeah. people's thoughts and experiences with it? Um, I finally pulled the trigger on one about a year ago mm -hmm. um, at the uh, the auction at the Triangle Pin Show, and I really like it. You like it now that you had it retuned. Yeah. Yeah, it was tuned. Um, it's actually right here. Um, you know, Mike and his weird writing angle. Of course, if it's a ground nib, it's probably not going to work great for you. This is the all gunmetal looks Korean, nice, yeah. Right, the light's really doing good things yeah. right here. Um, and then there's this is the part that's like distinctive about the Korean. Yeah. That's the the inlaid nib, which it's I always classy. I've wanted one of these since I was in yeah. high school. Like it was gorgeous. Um, yeah, so the nib on it had been uh, ground to a cursive italic, and uh, I think it was our friend Gina who had done it originally. And it used to be a stub, and the cursive italic was kind of sharp for me, and so... Destroy your life. Yeah, I know. And so I took it to Gina, I'm like, hey, I think yeah. you did this grind, do you mind like softening it off a little bit? And so she did, yeah. uh, for a very nominal fee. And so, uh, yeah, that's my Korean, but I think it's great. So, you know, that's that's my... That's my feedback on that. They're great. Um, wondering if I should just dump the ink in many of the pens you've inked but don't use. I mean, you can. But also, like, the ink's probably not going to go bad unless they dry out. If they dry yeah, out, it'll just be a little bit of a pro It'll be a little bit harder to clean, yeah. but it's not going to hurt anything. Yeah. Uh, Tony's at four inked. Nope, five inked. Uh, Greg Cockburn only has two right now. We're going to ink up a third party, a third pretty ones once the pen dries. Once it dries? Oh, you cleaned it out. Yeah. Probably. Uh, haven't gotten to try the yeah that ink is pretty cool like this nib is one of those 0.6 nemosyne nibs uh, like a little 0.6 stub they write super well but it's kind of fine and this mm -hmm. ink looks awesome even in that pen oh that's good so yeah it's it's very cool and it hasn't clogged it up or anything i was a little oh. worried about that yeah. hasn't had a problem so that's good yep uh let's see like the crane says becky can get ink on your fingers if you grip up near the nib yeah so one of the things about an inlaid nib uh thanks for mentioning that because i would have forgotten to say anything about it is i gotta you turn the light off i know but even then it like it's never all that bright i gotta deal with the settings i think uh, but if you get your fingers near where the inlay is up here like if you hold it real close to the front sometimes it can develop a thing where ink will like travel along the inside of the inlay and so you can kind of get ink on your fingers yeah let's see if mine will do it no it's not doing it um and then you can actually fix that there's um 
I forget what they they use for that, but like pen repair people can. There's like a, a liquid you can put in there that like closes it up, like a sh- shellac type thing. Like a, some kind of but light shellac really. of some yeah. kind. I I mean just don't do it randomly, but mm-hmm. um, it can be it can be fixed. Um. Yeah, SC says shellac. Yeah, I think so. Um, I forget what kind it is. I was talking. To, Ron Zorn did it for one of my. Okay. Um, uh, what's that Schaefer that uh, the Targa? I had a Schaefer Targa, Targa that yeah. would not stop doing it. Um, Let's see what car is at twenty five fifteen are vintage. Oh. Wow. Um, yeah, no ink mixing ink unless they're specially made for it. Even missing mixing two ear Suzuki's can cause. So it not it's not necessarily true that it will cause, but it can. So the thing to do when you mix you inks. Yeah, yeah is to mix them in like a sample vial and let it sit for a week or two. You think that'd be long enough? I think something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen in a week or so. Well, the thing is, how long are you gonna leave it in the pen? If you use it a lot, mm. then it, that's how long you should test it, is how long you probably keep a fill in it. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. If you're just gonna do a small, you know. Just put super glue all over, all over it, that'll fix it. Yeah, that yeah totally definitely. Uh, I have a few of the .8 nibs, they're great. Yeah, I've never used the, uh, the .8 nibs. That was your grail pen in middle school? Is that the cream there, yeah. Claire? That's that's awesome. Uh, that was probably about the time I was in college. <laughs> uh, I want to go with your Charleston around as your fancy modern Waterman's. Ooh. Beth is down to 11. Uh, oh, SC uh, go to. Got a BAMF. What the? Battery died. Oh. Uh, Denise loves the 0.6 dub Nemosyne. So I had two of those, or... Um, I would have two of those, but I have a friend, a colleague that I was trying to get mm-hmm. into fountain pens, and so I let him borrow one with that nib on it right before. Um, borrow it. It would have been a hard borrow, but then we had a pandemic, and he still has it. He'll give it back. I trust him. Um, uh, otherwise, you know where he works. I know. I can lives. find him. <laughs> well, I don't. I could. I can find. You out could where easily find him. Yeah. Uh, E95s does the same thing. Oh, interesting. I didn't. Um, I haven't heard about that with E95, but I believe it. Um, we have six inked and it's too many, Agnes. That's not too many. That's nothing. Um, See, that that feels like enough to hmm. me. You also put extra nibs or feeds to sit in the new ink mixture to see what happens. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You can. I've never tried that, but... Yeah. Y'all use some of that Cosmo Airlight paper. I have some of the Cosmo Airlight paper, like the heavy stuff. Um, I used a page of the... How'd you like type. it? It's good. I think I get... Is that what I gave you? The airlight? It is what I use. It was samples from our friend. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I was used it to write a note. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It seems good. Yeah. I, I don't remember it. I just remember it was that paper. I don't mm-hmm. remember anything specifically good or bad about it. So it worked yeah. fine. Yeah, it was good. It takes a little while to dry, but it's got good shading and sheen and stuff. Yeah. Doesn't feather or bleed. No, seems, I didn't have that. Seems strong. Uh, Nancy's uh, oh uh, David's up to twenty eight inked yeah it's fine whatever um, let's see I have more next next month of the ink vent colors you got for holiday cards almost all are shimmers oh nice mm. I am sad am I sad or am I relieved I'm I'm a little bit sad and relieved that there's not going to be yeah, an ink vent calendar this mm-hmm. year yeah um, I did that if y'all were following this channel last year uh, I did the entire Diamine ink vent calendar I did a video every day. And you got sick in between, too. I got very ill, and you had to do the audio for a couple of them because I couldn't talk. Yeah. Was I very ill? I mean, I wasn't, I didn't feel that bad. I just couldn't speak. You weren't speak. very ill, but you weren't feeling great. Yeah. And you couldn't speak. And yeah. I couldn't talk. Yeah. <laughs> so there are a couple that have just Audrey doing a voiceover. Yeah. Yeah. Mike doesn't get sick very often. Uh-oh. No. It's really rare. I haven't been sick since then, I don't think. I, it's been a long, for me... Yeah. It's been a pretty while. Mm-hmm. Pretty long while. Throw some salt over our shoulders. Seriously. Uh, evening all. Hey, what's up, Dapper Man? Uh, yeah. Early thing you learned in your career, uh, on your Korean was that the cap creates a strong seal, and if you pull it off too quickly, you can pull n- ink out of the feed. Yeah, I, if you point it down, I'm sure you probably could. Pointing it down, and the thing with the um, FC Model 20, uh. if people, because it's a slip cap, which is different than this, which is, has the nice snap to it. People will put it on super tight and then just go like this and just really pull it off. And yeah, it can definitely cause some ink splattering. And they'll say, oh, my pen's leaking. But really, they're just capping it too tight. And also, it's always recommended. 
I just like to go ahead and do it one handed. Just go doop, like that. So it's always up and there's less chance of it actually doing the splurting a little bit. Do you have any other recommendations? I have 38 pens inked. That's not that bad. Usually I'm in the 40s, so uh, I actually am whittling it down a little bit. What we should do <laughs> is we should take the ink mint from last year, hmm. mix colors, and make a whole new batch. Mix the colors, you say. A lot of them are pretty saturated. You come up with a lot of blacks, I think. You just need a pipette. Hmm. And you can get some nice, small, small variations. Hmm. Uh, ink Guy says, uh, I should make my own infant calendar and do the videos from that. Oh, that seems mm -hmm. like a... Mm -hmm. Just do a set of winter-themed ones mm -hmm. that you haven't reviewed and do it that way. You could do that. Mm -hmm. Just put them in bags or something. Yeah. Or just give me all of the untrieds that you have and I'll go through and put them in little baggies oh. and Oh, that'd be kind of fun. So then you don't know what they are either. And then I know. And yeah. I mean, I'd know when there was a... When I pull out the vial or whatever. Well, yeah, that's the... I mean, you yeah. would know what that would be. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't review it. I, I don't know what this is. Here's a... Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. That would be dumb. Just label yeah, the yeah. tube or whatever. And... Okay. All right, maybe we do an ink vent this year. I don't know. Uh, we'll see if the chat... Just so you can get some um, colors out of the way and have uh -huh. them swatched and whatnot. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. again, they weren't long videos. They don't have to be super long, but yeah, they're just right. like impressions of, uh -huh. oh, this is one. Yeah. That's... Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Uh, David says, uh, gives you, gives him old TR and good bank paper feel and using the 75 GSM. I think mine's mm -hmm. like the 90 or something. It's absurdly I want to say it is. I didn't, I think they were out of the 70 something. Probably. So I got the, I got the really other one. Uh, Infant video feels like it was just a few months ago for you. I mean, it was a few months ago, like yeah. 11. <laughs> uh, recreating vent. Yeah. I think that's what might do that. Same part with the vertex. Oh yeah. I've never used a vertex, yeah. but I imagine it would. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do the pens I have at work count as currently inked pens of your home? No. Uh, I so... say yes, because that's why I mostly count. But... <laughs> Probably so. Uh, never put your caps on tight or open an FC20 downward, but you often get ink in the cap. That's kind of strange. I've I've got several of the 20s. I've never had that. Mm -hmm. um... I have multiple ones, too, and I've never had an issue. Oh, there's the, the cat cam for you. Yeah. Incoming cat. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I can just lighten that up. I forgot where I had this. Let's see. Uh, advanced. Good yeah. thing you're doing it in the in it here. It's, it's good. Done. That wasn't too bad. Um, you like Audrey's idea? Gadget Stops likes it. Becky likes it. Have viewers make you an ink vent? We can all send you samples you don't have. No, oh, that's... That seems like a lot of work for viewers. Yeah, viewers. I um, mean... But... Um, if there is one that would be... I mean, you could do a brown. I mean, mm -hmm. but that's... When you think winter, you think the blues, you think of red, greens, gold, silver. I think it could be anything. I don't know. I'm not really I don't think seasonal. orange as a winter color. That's no. a fall. I mean, again, we're not going to sit there and be like, oh, this is not fit the theme mm. well enough. But I yeah. feel like there are certain colors that mm. that do... And there's so many blues and greens. And <laughs> Ryan says do ink vent, but it's only one ink for 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I can't do that. That would be uh, that would be no good. <laughs> Make him an advent, wrap up each one so surprised. Yeah, that's what she's saying she would do. Um, hi, Kat. Yes, yeah, it's Katie Purry. She's, uh, yep. she's yeah. skinnier. She way. has lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, we've been trying to diet this cat for a year or something. It's <laughs> actually it's a long time. I it's feel paying like it's... off. Yeah. She hates it. She hates it. Uh, let's see. Uh, oranges and browns are for now for Turkey it, Day. It, yeah, I'm fine with that. There, there aren't hard rules for it but i think browns I can be i think browns are wintry i don't see i think of it as fall yule logs mm, yeah, no. uh, trees with no leaves all brown no uh i don't know what else <laughs> um yeah i mean if look if you have a sample of something you want to send out and audrey can put it in the ink vent yeah i'll um, do that yeah of course yeah drop me an email or, or just send it and put a note in the thing yeah that's the i nailed that 
We're, really, we're really on it today. <laughs> we are. Three quarters professional. Uh, brown <laughs> makes me think of gingerbread. Yeah, see, there you go. There were at least two or three browns in that Inkman set. set and they were like I, gingerbread like and some bread. stuff like that. I what have a gingerbread molasses cookie mm. recipe. It's so good. It's pretty bad. It has the um, turbinado sugar on top. It's mm -hmm. the big granular one. Oh, mm -hmm. man, I want that right now. It's pretty good. We're still finishing off the Halloween candy. We're doing really well. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yep. I mean, you bought some more Halloween candy today. It was 70% off. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> uh, it needs to be the right brown. It needs it to be pretty dark uh, dark rather than reddish or orange. Yeah, yeah. I think that's right, Greg. Yeah. That seems right. He put it in the way that that's what I meant. Yeah, I think that's true. Uh, for us, the colors of tamales with red and green sauce are the colors of fall. Mm. Mike approves of that. I approve. I 100% approve. Is it the food time for the stream? Because it's sort it is of six sounds It is like 6 o'clock, so yeah. like not now. Yeah. Uh, always is the right time for uh, for tamales, though. Pizza Friday. Oh, I love tamales. And oh. pizza. And I love pizza. And tacos, too. I'd have all those things. That'd be fine with me. Put some tamales on a pizza. Make it happen. If you had a tamale pizza out there, let me know. I don't think it's a thing, but I, I think it should be. I don't think. I would eat it. I eat it so much. Chestnuts are sort of brown, right? There was, I think that was another one. Oh. Of the, yeah. Chestnuts are gross. I'm, I'm sorry, fan. I had one. I honestly almost spit it up in their face. And it was just, <laughs> it, it was so like chalky. Mm -hmm. I don't know. David says tamale drop off. Yeah, if we ever have pin shows again and we go to the same show, I'm going to uh, hope that... Uh, uh, you can drop me off some tamales there, David. Yeah. Oh, they're not doing it this year. That's too bad, Sharon. That is too bad. Uh, smell great, but taste awful. Oh, chestnuts. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. Yeah, they smell good. Yeah. I like the smell, yeah. Yeah. Uh, another month till roasted chestnuts. I mean, more for more you. More for you, yeah. And fruitcake, too. You <laughs> like, can keep that fruitcake. Like, subscribe, Pizza Friday, cat face. Thank yep. you, Emily. Yeah, like and subscribe. we got 25 likes. That's actually a fair number of likes. With us not saying anything about the likes yeah. and commenting and subscribing, yeah. that's pretty pretty impressive. Yeah, a few people did uh, say, you know, like it or whatever, but yeah. Ray came to see Nose. I get it. Um, He's not. He's probably sleeping on the couch. Nose! Come here, Nose! Also, where's Scraggles? She's in the bedroom. She, <laughs> when I came out from the bedroom, she was in bed and she was not wanting to go. She went to daycare yesterday, so mm. she's sleepy today. She had a great time she at daycare. She might want to be out. She might want to be out now, but too yeah. bad. I mean, she was in Way she goes. Yep. Chestnuts can be good if done properly. I mean, I hear the same thing about Brussels sprouts, but I don't really believe it. You uh, have to roast those, I hear. <laughs> David, had tw uh, you're doing... Wait, 12 frozen briskets? That's a lot of briskets. That's so many briskets. Uh, did we get trick-or-treaters? Yeah, we got like six, six or so. Not terribly many, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, not yeah, none. Not we, we put our big bowl of candy out mm -hmm. on the porch on a chair, and I put a sign on it that said, like, take a couple pieces, happy Halloween, yeah. and we sat inside behind the glass door and, like, waved. Yeah. And yelled happy Halloween at kids. Did you almost say Easter? I don't think so. Okay. Maybe, but I don't think so. Uh, hey, Diana, what's up? Uh, they curry very well. With sp mm -hmm. Oh, Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Really? I think I if you add that. enough curry to pretty much anything, it would be amazing. So, <laughs> cat face on the camera. She, I hope you're hearing the murs. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they are. A family reunion for the 12. Serve somewhere between 70 and 100. Sounds good. Sprouts need to cook properly slowly with lots of bacon. So, mm -hmm. I think the bacon mm -hmm. thing is kind of cheating. Um, also, I don't eat bacon. Yeah, she doesn't eat bacon. So um, that's the problem. French chestnut paste, creme de marron, maybe. It's not chalky and excellent on pancakes. Oh. All right, I'll believe that. Living for the cat cam. Got, let me see. Uh, move this down so we can get some more. I don't know if I can get more cat noise or not. She Once you get too close, she starts freaking out. See, so you're doing too much. See. There you go. You're welcome. Yeah, I think they can hear it now. <laughs> Stealth cat for the win. Oh, she's stealthy, all oh, right. Yeah. This is our house panther. Oh, she, uh, she, she is. She growls at things. If, if Scraggles barks at something, she immediately, like, the pizza person comes, Scraggles barks, she just 
low growl at it. <laughs> you can hear her on the couch. She'll like pop her head. I'm like, <laughs> so yeah. If she had another uh, 50 pounds on her, she would be a fearsome uh, protection animal. Uh, didn't eat Brussels sprouts for decades. Try and roast it. Now I'm crazy for him. Yeah, I think I think roasting is the only way to do it. Claire eats Brussels sprouts uh, raw with a bit of red wine vinegar. Yeah, I don't like red wine vinegar, cranberries, or pecans that much. So that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> the, the funny thing is, you're not the picky one, no. but I would be more apt to try that. That is than a you. combo of things that those are like the combo, the sweet spot of things that I don't care for. I of don't those, love I, pecans. I yeah. like, or, excuse me, pecans. I'm from the South now. Um, <laughs> pecans. I would prefer like an almond, mm. like a slivered almond or something. I like but. pecans best out of everything in that list she put there. Mm. I'm from the Southwest. We say pecan. So. I say it's pecan. What do you guys? Yeah, As you're liking up here, we have 35 now. As uh, you're liking, put a comment saying, <laughs> oh, I prefer pecan or pecan. Yeah, clearly it's pecan. So I'm going to give that cat the attention she desires. Okay, fine. Yeah. Oh, she gets plenty. Trust me. This cat is, she's a big old attention hog. She one. is. She's also the cat that we have. Pecan, that loves see? International is pecan. Got a pecan already. It's 50 /50. Oh, it's 50-50. So, like, pecan, like James Con, Yeah. Yeah. Pecan, con, pecan. Yeah. Pe see? Can. The internationals <laughs> know what's up here. We got the UK. We have some Australia. We They know how to say it right. Yeah. Ray, this, pecan, yeah. This is our cat that likes to be held the most. Yeah. You can pretty much hold her as long as you want. She is all over it. Carol, pecan. Yeah. Pecan. Pecan. My grandma made me pecan pie. It was the best pie I ever had. Yeah. Sorry. My pecans. dad loves pe pecan pie. He does. Unfortunately, he, he can't, can't have it. Have it. So <laughs> yeah. my mom will sometimes make, basically, it's like cornflakes instead with the. Yeah, um, false pecan pie. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it was like a thing that everyone knew. but Yeah, I think it's pretty that. common. I mean, yeah. I don't know how that's the equivalent, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know how you can say a pecan is. Like a cornflake. Because when you make the pecan pie, you like... Well, it's uh, the same yeah. juice stuff yeah. that's mostly caro, I um, think. Yeah, I played under pecan trees uh, every summer in Texas. Pecans. Yeah. Uh, we had pecan trees in my backyard growing up in Texas. Big old pecan trees. Uh, pop or soda. Chicago grew up always pop and mustard, not ketchup. Uh, so she's a pop. I'm a Coke. I don't <laughs> say either now, though. Well, you so can't. So I grew up saying pop. My parents are watching. It's pop for always. Yeah. But when I moved down here, I was constantly made fun of for mm. it. Mm -hmm. So it shamed me into, and I don't mm. want, I, I don't want to say soda. So I just call whatever I want. So like, oh, do you, I want to, I want a Diet Coke. Is it your and mom if, that makes shoe fly pie? Or is that Marge? That's Marge. My, yeah. I, my Aunt Marge makes a shoe fly pie And she's every the year. only one that eats it. I feel so bad. But. She and her doctor. Uh, mm. He grew up in a place where shoe fly pie is super common, and I can't remember where that mm -hmm. was. But they're the only ones that like them. I, it's not for mm. me, but it's too it's too sweet. I I yeah. said soda pop, combining both. That was the worst out of yeah. all of what I said. I think soda pop's fine. No. Um, fizzy Soft drink. Soft drink. Yep. Soft drink. Yeah. So people say that in Texas everybody calls everything Coke. I don't remember that being a thing really. I've heard that that's but, a thing in certain places. Yeah. I've yeah. heard it was text, I, but you said that yeah. it wasn't, but I... Like, it's not something I ever noticed, and I don't think it's a thing I ever said, but, like, I grew up traveling around, because my family is, like, all over the eastern seaboard and all that mm -hmm. jazz, and so I I didn't really, like, have one set thing. Yeah. And, in, like, the place where I grew up, it's not, it's pretty cosmopolitan, even in my little hometown of Alvin, so, like, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not as much of Texas. Carol's wife is from Texas, and she says go... See, David says totes not a Texas thing, maybe only behind the pine curtain. So I think it's got to be like one of those mm -hmm. things that's regional, regional within Texas. In certain spots. But and... people think of Texas as like this one thing. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's... Um... See, I don't remember that being a thing either, David. And so. Angel says in Pennsylvania, shoe fly is very popular due to that. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Dutch. Dutch. That's what it is. That's what her doctor is. He grew mm -hmm. up around the, oh, the yeah. Pennsylvania Dutch. Yeah. Yep. That's we had right. a lot of... Of Dutch in Ohio as well. Uh, oh, so how do you ask for a specific kind of pop if you call it all Coke? They're like, give me a Coke, oh, and people say, say what, what, kind, what, yeah, what kind, and you say, I want a Sprite. There was a yeah. comment that we have to scroll back up, because I was going to say it, now I missed it. Oh, here. It was... 
Carol coin syrup? No, where to go? Cor- is, is corn flakes as a sub for pecan pecan pie? See now, I'm you have me any worse than Ritz crackers as a sub for apple pie? It's way worse. Or I mean, I think it's way better than having the Ritz crackers. Yeah, Ritz thing. is not apple pie. I've never, I've never heard of that one. That sounds. I terrible. feel like I've heard people putting. Don't people put cheese on apple pie sometimes? I've heard of that. I've never done it. But I've, I've heard never of it. done it. I, and I have a question. Apple pie. Are we doing Dutch apple pie or you want a crust on the top? I've had conversations with friends of mine. They're just wrong. There's one answer to this. Well, two answers I think are acceptable. Either a lattice crust or Dutch. I mean, lattice is the same thing as the pie crust. Yeah, it's, not as, no, it's better I, on the lattice. Dutch um, or get out is what I say. It's called so the five regions of Texas video from Bernie. Yeah, the five regions of Texas is right. Yeah. Uh, it's super confusing. Soft drinks are called juices in Scotland. That's weird. Apple pie without the cheese is like a hug without a squeeze. <laughs> cheddar is the cheese for apple pie. I love cheddar cheese. By the way, I want to brag on myself for a minute. We had Audrey came home yesterday with a hankering for. Uh, Don't say it. What? <laughs> For a hankering for a peanut butter and jelly I sandwich. I did. Okay, look. Did I have it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like for dinner? Peanut... I did. Look, okay. I do that sometimes too. No, you deal. don't. No, yes, you just do. threw me under the bus no. to and so 90, I... 90 people are out there going, man, that poor Mike, his wife made a peanut butter and jelly for dinner. That seems fine. And so I was going to do that. And then I got to thinking, I, I've been wanting to have a, a grilled cheese sandwich or a toasted cheese as I call I it. I say grilled cheese. Um... For a while, because we got this cheese as like a three pepper Colby Jack, and I'm like, this needs to be a cheese sandwich. No, it's not a crumble. That is going to be a crisp. That's apple crisp. This is the pie with the pie crust on the bottom, crumble on top, mm. formed. It stays when you yeah. cut it. It stays into the the pie. Yeah. But there is the apple crisp or yeah. crumble. Uh, but I made the best toasted cheese sandwich last night that I've ever made. He added one slice of a three pepper hot cheese. Yep, I did that. I threw in some feta. And the rest of it was sharp Vermont cheddar. And it was mwah, chef kiss good. Does it make it any better that the peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly that I had had uh, Bon Mama? Um, fancy jam. Fancy, yeah, yeah, jam. I don't think so. There's nothing wrong it with peanut butter and jelly. It was the wild blueberry one. Uh, Maybe yeah. it was preserves. Audrey's fine. Peanut butter and jelly is a fantastic Look, dinner. Look, we have a lot of international Ryan has had peanut here. butter and jelly for three meals in a day. Like, I that's, don't know if I've done that. I used to eat peanut butter and jelly Australia sandwiches. If you're in Australia or UK, oh, yeah. I know you hate peanut butter. Everybody in the world hates peanut butter. No, we look like at all it. this. I love PB&J. PB&J is a legit Those food. Those are the U.S. people. I'm talking to you, the international folks. Toast the bread don't for like a PB&J. It. It's ridiculous. That is super so, good. No, you know what I do? Hmm. My One of my other favorites is taking cinnamon raisin bread, toasting it, Peanut butter on it, eating it as a sandwich. Yeah, of course. Delicious. Yeah, that's a that's a classic. I don't know if there's a name um, for that. If you ask for soda outside the Northeast, folks think you're a foreigner. <laughs> See, so, when I was in Australia and New Zealand, I, for many people, I did work on boats there. They did not have peanut butter. And when we asked about it, they're like, that's not, nobody likes that. Mm-hmm. So why would we? But they have black currant jellies and jams, which I wish we had more here. I know. Uh, yeah, the Bama Mon are really good. They're a bunch of jams and jellies and stuff. They actually do an advent calendar that we have started getting my aunt because she yeah. loves Bama Mon. Maybe she's going to be sick of it. It's one of those things that we get her she's every not sick year. Of it. She's okay. not sick of it yet. She'll, she'll let me know when she is. I just did a uh, wheat bread. I didn't get anything fancy. I'm trying to, you know, not eat as many calories. So I like the really dense, thick, like whole wheat, whole grain breads. Mm. But I'm doing with a regular, thinner, mm-hmm. whole wheat bread. Fewer calories. Yeah. Um, should I get the Bon Amon Advent Calendar? You absolutely should if you can. It's, it's worth it. I mean, yeah. there's small, like, one, two serving ones. Like, yeah, probably yeah, a couple yeah. servings, but... Two or three slices of toast probably yeah. is what you'd spread it on. Super good, though. Yeah. Um, Audrey, jam's the only way to get no high fructose corn syrup. Probably. Yeah. Um, I like jam. I'm a strawberry jam fanatic. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. a strawberry jam. Even a strawberry preserve I'm into. I'm mm-hmm. not usually a big preserve fan, but... I'm okay with seeds and things. Yeah. Uh, you start on the live stream when Audrey starts to get the hungry. <laughs> I'm s- look. Uh, New it, Zealand makes arguably the best peanut butter in the world. Have you had New Zealand peanut butter? You've been in New Zealand. I have been in New Zealand for a while. As far as I remember, something in my eye. 
I mean, like, I had like the honey because the manuka honey is like and the, the butter. thing. And but anchor butter in New Zealand. Oh my gosh, the color, the flavor. Mm-hmm. You just can't get. You might have it at your grocery store. They had it at one of ours, and they got rid of it right when I was gonna get it. Mm-hmm. Oh, anchor butter is so good. Peanut butter mixed with cream cheese is excellent. That sounds kind of interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Chunky marmalade on toast. Mike is a fan mm-hmm. of fluffernutter. Oh. If, if people, yeah. international people, does anyone know what a fluffernutter is? <laughs> no way. They definitely don't have that elsewhere. Wow. Well, uh, black currants were as popular in the United States as well. It became less common in the 20th century after currant farming was banned in the early 1900s. When black currants is a vector of white pine blister rust. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Ah, so black currant huh. is, the, I think that's the kind that Marge likes so much. They have like a yeah. seedless black currant that you can't find. Yeah, you, that'd be really difficult to find. And I look for it every once in a while. I yeah. There. And then you're a Brit not to avoid them, pro, <laughs> the produce of the colonies. And this meant I'd rather like peanut butter with raspberry or strawberry jam. Oh, Ras- okay. uh, yeah. So peanut butter yeah. and strawberry jam is my, is, it's mm, my jam. It's very, say. very good. Peanut butter on a set. Sa- on sour cream on waffles? Oh, mm, Nancy. Uh... I don't know what you're doing there. <laughs> oh, Nancy. Oh. Oh, Nancy. Tony, I know what you know what a fluffernutter uh, is. Come on now. Uh, peanut butter and marshmallow. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, know what a fluffernutter is? Well, of course you do. Jersey or Guernsey butter? Uh, fluffernutter. Uh, peanut butter and Nutella. Also crazy. Peanut butter and Nutella seems like that's you're really doubling up on the, the stuff. Yeah, I'm okay with yeah. Nutella, but it... Tell us yeah. gross. I don't really have any fluffernutter cookies are mad good. I've only recently yeah. heard of fluffernutter cookies, but I I'm about it. Oh, um, I don't know. I've well, not you, seen a recipe. You no know, peanut butter cookie, I think, is the second best cookie. And I love marshmallows. So if you put marshmallow on my second favorite cookie. Okay. Best co- well. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you what my favorite cookie I'm is because y'all nobody's gonna the, be on my side. I'm curious about the marshmallow. There's different ways you could go with this. I'm off to see yeah. a recipe. I'm curious. Uh, dairy in North America isn't very good because cows don't eat the same food they naturally eat. Yeah. Well, it depends on where you are, I think. But well, that's the thing about yeah. like Kerrygold and things mm-hmm. like that. Is, yeah. Yeah. That's and if you can get it, true. if you can get it local, so if you're in a place that's heavy on dairy, mm-hmm. so if you're like Wisconsin or Texas or something, you can like heavy yeah. dairy stuff. And just like chicken and chicken eggs and mm-hmm. other places that very aren't different. just you yeah. know naturally mm-hmm. farmed for or they're on chicken egg farms it's yeah we had different. chickens when i was a kid it's, so yeah yeah um so there's chocolate north oh chocolate north america is garbage um nutella is a zillion calories i mean they don't yeah. count i mean it's a dessert fried sort of moon thing. pie at the texas state fair you can fry anything at the texas state fair or a- any fair i mean whatever it is you're gonna try and fry it take peanut butter cookie and add in jet puff because jet puff is incapable of burning really now I kind of want to try to light some jet puff on fire. <laughs> huh. I usually use, um, um, what's the one I usually get? You got jet puffed at the last time for the, for the, oh, I use the name brand fluff, but Yeah, whatever. the one in the white container with the red top. Fried dough, funnel cake, yep. Beaver I, tails, I, elephant ears. Yeah, I like elephant ears mm. a little bit more than funnel cake. Mm. I like the chewy texture, whereas Mike's more of the funnel, funnel cake because he likes the crunchy. I like the crunchy. I like the small bits. I just, I just cover it in powdered sugar. And I, like a little bit of butter mm-hmm. that makes it like a tiny bit soggy on yeah. top with the cinnamon. Oof. Uh-huh. Man, if you come in after 6 o'clock. <laughs> They're like, what is this weird food show we're why watching? Are, why <laughs> is this a food show? Why do they say it's Fountain Pen Day when know. only they talk about I food? Know. I know. Uh, sometimes we also talk about the Audacity keychain, um, which is... Uh, yeah. But I think you should right show now. a couple of our pen rests. Do you have a pen that you do not have a clip with it and it just rolls around? We have... Oh, yeah, I have these, these holographic ones. I forgot about those. Oh. I have these nice pins, which are wood. They're made of yep. white birch, yep. uh, sustainably UK farmed. Yep. Uh, and then, yeah, I do pen rests. Uh, well, we do pen rests, but I sell them here on the site. Yeah. Um, and I also do like mystery sets. So customs, just... if you want a custom one, just let us know what colors. Yeah, yeah. I do like mystery duos. Yeah. That's Lower. our plug. That's our, yeah. our plugs for the day. Thank you for listening. We appreciate y'all know I'm it. terrible about uh, how y'all celebrate Fountain Pen Day. I had meetings all day. Uh, it's uh, committee meetings. School committee meetings is what I did say. It was great yeah. fun. Uh, Audrey got a haircut. I did. In color. I did. See, she's got some highlights going on in there. I did. But it's hard yep. to tell because my hair just looks dark. Yep. It just looks dark. Yep. Uh, well, you can you can see some up here a little bit from. Yeah, there you go. It's a good view. Yep. 
Yep. Uh, you missed a bit getting turned off the router. I know that. I know those feels. Mm -hmm. I actually have a, um, a power strip down here with a little box taped over the, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the switch. Because Clipsy, yeah. for a while, would mm -hmm. just walk over and just go and turn it off. Because she yep. knew that when she turned that off, she got attention. It wasn't always super good, but it was attention. Make a pen rest to match Brad's new bestseller pen. I could. Yeah. I probably should and send one. I probably got one. It's oh. uh, orangey hmm. red. I mean, I got a bunch of orangey stuff. Of course. Uh, back top to serious topics. Peanut butter. <laughs> Peanut butter <laughs> some sriracha sauce. Oh, man. I haven't Ooh. had sriracha. I haven't had a haircut since February. Uh, I haven't either. Audrey's had yes, one. Yes, you have. Well, I've gotten them. I haven't paid for one. Fair. Sure. I am. Yeah. Um, I've gone to school to cut hair. Is that right? The school of hard knocks and oh, going to the bathroom and, and buzz cutting your hair. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So I've I, we got a we got a set of clippers. I now have had a couple of haircuts. Good. So we're we're saving cash here, so I can get my hair done. Yeah. Well, those clippers cost about the same as one haircut. So it's pay, so, it's gonna be paying for itself now. Yeah. The next time will be uh, free. So. But yeah, this is the first the place that I go. There are only a couple people in there, and the whole place, and it's really big and spread out, and everyone wears masks and mm -hmm. everything's. Well sanitized. You get your wife to cut your hair again, Tony. Mm. I'm on Zoom stuff a lot, and I, I do this thing, so like I feel I was getting very shaggy for a while there, and I was like, we you were just have unhappy, yeah. And I kept yeah. saying you have to get clippers because the one that we had was just she didn't like using my beard trimmer to trim my whole head. Apparently Weird, that didn't work huh? well. I don't know. <laughs> so. Uh, Tony, I read that and she said she's never very good at that. I was reading as you were telling me, <laughs> and I'm not surprised. But then I realized that you were talking about your wife, yeah. and she's probably. I not. did. I did take a big chunk out of my uh, my beard the other day though, when I was showing you. It like went in too far. I, so. I get it. It'll grow back out. Yeah. Get you that point. And you see your barber again. Woof. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, mm -hmm. Our our hair cutterist um, had a had a baby recently. Yeah. So that was, she wasn't even pregnant last time we saw her. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. she's had a baby. Well, maybe she was pregnant last time we saw her. Has it been nine? Has it been nine months? She must have been pregnant. I, oh, the baby was early. So maybe she wasn't. Yeah. I don't think but, she was. But uh, yeah. early she wasn't like, didn't know about it or wasn't telling people. Uh, wife has cut your hair, cut, hair since the 90s? Nice. Wow. Sounds like my dad. My mom cuts my dad's hair. Yeah. And my and brother's And she's cut too. mine. She cut my, oh, that's right. She cut my hair too. Yeah. When she was My here. mom, she... Your mom's pretty good at cutting hair. I mean, she's really domestic, you know? She knows how to do things. Yeah. And she's a good wife, you know? Mm. I made I made myself a peanut butter and jelly for dinner last night. Mm. What'd you make me for dinner? I, you made a toast mm. cheese sandwich. Yeah. I, it's not like I never cook. Jeez. Some of us have to leave the house. I know. And drive a lot. I know. I'm thinking I might get this phone case. What do you think? That's very on brand for you. Oh, by the way, I uh, ordered my new phone today. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's fun news. That's what I did to celebrate Phone Pin Day. Is I got a I, got, I bought a phone. Yeah. Uh, I went for the uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Oh, by the way, it did give me an hour oh, at good. some point. That's good. I'm glad. I have no idea how. So my watch. I'm still angry mm. at it. Don't be angry. Fix yourself. It's, mm -hmm. it's fine. Relax. Okay. Uh, but I think I might have to get this one. He got the Max. I've heard the leather cases are super good. Mm -hmm. It's a little expensive. That is. So, this is a tech channel now. The, I changed the case on mine so it has the mag app, safe. the mag safe on mm -hmm. it. This thing, it looks nice. I don't mind having the magnet here. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I there. think it looks good. It is so slippery. So slippery. It is just like constantly just falling yeah. and slipping off a couch and just everywhere. Yeah, I, I might have to I get don't a different know. phone for you or a different case. A different phone? I need another one. No. Um, it's Apple, of course. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Mini or Max? Oh, I want Max. Big. Uh, it's Apple for those basements, are... you know? No, no, not be great. Well, this one she actually got from her brother, who has a small tech channel. He does. Uh, it's uh, the Big Unbox. Go check out Big Unbox on YouTube. Give him a is follow. Is it the? I don't know if it's the. Well, I remember. It doesn't matter. You put in Big Unbox, you'll find Sean. It probably would be, but yeah, he does a lot of cases, lots of. Phones. Phone covers. Like a lot of and... non-Apple stuff, too. He's yeah. Like, he does Galaxies and OnePluses and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So um, go give him a follow if you want tech stuff. He does yeah. a lot of tech stuff. Um, Apple Quick, yeah. So I... And he will never show his face. No. no you'll never so see you'll never know what he looks like. No. They have a red one, but it's kind of cranberry. I'm not super loving it. 
the brown is kind of boring. I that remember. is the same color red as the phone is, because it's that pop, the the red product it's, color. It looks darker on, looks very different on these monitors. Yeah. By like the way, the too. monitor that's in front of us right now is like my least favorite monitor. It's the giant one that I replaced recently. I had to send my new monitor back to the maker because it was busted. Blurg. Very blurry. Going to attempt a clean sheen machine out of your 580 this weekend. How long do you think it'll take? It probably won't be too bad, actually. Um, if you take off the uh, the section, you can just use a little syringe to blast water into that chamber. It'll be easy enough. This is... I'm very hungry and distracted. Uh -huh. I was just listening to you, and yeah. the clean the sheen sounded like e like just the e so i thought you said clean the e machine like do you remember e machine the, the computers? old crappy computer i don't brand? even know if they exist anymore There's i was no like way you know, how, somebody's gonna clean their e machine i check out <sighs> rhino shield bumper cases well she wants now she's got to get one that goes with the the mag safe let's see um I'm gonna go ahead and look here at uh, pen cases, pen cases, phone cases. We got. Uh, so I got a text from a friend saying that they're about to get a keychain with my face for their pocket. Nice, nice. Uh, you've got the what? The twelve. I got the regular, regular twelve. Yeah. iPhone twelve. I'm look. I'm literally on my phone looking at what you're doing there. So. Are you? <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, we should probably so, go. It is 6.30. So. My stomach is growling. I'm distracted. I'm talking about <sighs> e-machines. Yeah, yeah. Um, do Rinky do a Fusion X for phones? I don't know that brand. I don't know um, that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, I usually get... Uh, what is the one I usually get? Tech 21. Yeah, that's right. If I can get Tech 21s, I get Tech 21s. That's my jam. I didn't get one for this last cycle because they came out mega late or mm, something like something that. Something like that, yeah. So I just never got one. I had an outer box and it was okay, but it, like turned yellow. It was kind of gross. Um, and I broke it. Mm. <laughs> so yep, you did. I've been rocking this spec one that I got from uh, Audrey's brother. So it's been fine. It's not very attractive, but it works really well. It, the small amount of time that you had left before. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't yeah. look that great, but it feels it's very fine. good. It's got a great feel to it. So. so everyone got one for the OnePlus 7 Pro based on reviews. Oh, nice. I've not, I don't think I've ever seen one of those in Yeah, person. you wouldn't have. Yeah. They're, they're hard to get in the U.S. Like, you don't go to a store and get them. They just don't have them. Um, just get a phone that doesn't break right away. <laughs> uh, I... Yeah, I don't know. I've never had a... I've never actually broken anything on any of my iPhones. Ever. I haven't either. Yeah, so far. Uh, but... Tony... Yeah living on the edge never had a case just raw dogging it the whole time no case um we can just wow. make iphone cases that's cool 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 all right folks yeah we probably ought to go uh Happy Fountain Pen Day. thank you very much use a quad lock case those quad lock cases are very cool i almost got one like in the middle of this last cycle i found them um i'll look them up later for you but yeah quad locks really look cool uh pretty pleased with it nice yeah you can mount it to a whole bunch of things so it's got mm. like this lock you can yeah. lock it onto stuff gotcha yeah. okay there's with like four attachment points thus the quad you see i get it yeah that makes sense yeah yeah um yes yeah, cool i'm glad to hear those are good because i was really interested in them um because i want to like mount it on my dash i know you do and that, that's yeah. that's what you want yeah that's what i want um so yeah thanks very much for hanging out happy fountain pen day everyone um go online shopping yeah. I mean, you don't have to get something, but there's retail, sales today. A little retail today. therapy and yeah. uh, see what's out there. Yeah. Up in the it's, it's better than just refreshing the, the election results or whatever other doom scrolling you're doing. Because I caught Social my... media is the worst right uh, now. and you... I, I really caught myself doom scrolling the other day. And I'm like, I should get up. And I'm like, I don't. I just want to doom scroll for a while. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Just break your break the habit. Uh, happy happy Fountain Pen Friday, y'all. Yes, you as well. And pizza. Enjoy our pizza. Yeah, thanks. And thanks, to all, by the way, to those of you who sometimes fund our pizza night yep. through the PayPal Always. link up here. Yep. I actually got yeah. my first payment from YouTube. You uh, did? From That's YouTube. right. Yeah. Uh, it's the first time I've ever actually gotten money out of YouTube. So like... It just, add, it just keeps adding yeah. until you get it to a certain point. You have to get to 100 bucks, And so... Um, Which is so nice of everyone. Yeah, yeah. it really is. I, well, that included a bunch of like donations to the animal yeah. shelter from last year. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> so... That's yeah, right. Finally got that money back. But whatever. I paid the animal shelter while I was there. So... Saving your money for November 10th. Oh, for the... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, that's right. The uh, Franklin Christoph Pin Show on the 10th. 
I probably gotta do that too because I bet there's some stuff that I wanna. I've only seen a couple. I one that I saw. I think it will be very popular. Uh oh. So yeah, that's save, all I can say. That's all I can save, say. Save a few pennies. I don't know what's gonna come up in the sale either. I was psyched to get something in the last pin show and I didn't. There were things why. that you wanted and then you just didn't. I dithered and they sold out. Yeah. Is what happened. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe I won't dither this time. Maybe they'll have a fifty five that I have to have. Maybe there'll be a um what's that one with a little bit cap? Little bit of cap. The eclipse. Is that what it's called? The eclipse? Yep. This little this little bit of cap? Yep. I'm going to have one of these in a style that I need to have. I do know what color that one is. Oh, snap. Also, Mac so I know like two of them. Yeah, I think they're doing the um, the Apple mm -hmm. Silicon on um, on the 10th. Apple's going to start using their own processors instead of using Intel's or whatever. Mm, of course they are. I think it's going to be uh, either awesome or just a, kind of a crapshoot for the first generation. I'm not getting no. the first generation of Apple Silicon. But I just got a new laptop, so I'm not going to be due for another one for like three years. Mm. two years i guess i've had it for a year at this point yeah uh, crazy so i've got another two years so they'll get it figured out by the next time i need a new mac, a new mac so i yeah again i only know a couple that are coming over mm -hmm. so i'm mostly in the dark mm -hmm. just like everyone else special pen case intrigue you is there gonna be a special pen case there is a special pen case and i have seen those oh is it i cool? forgot about that i mean i think that you'd like right. it yeah uh, be another reason for Apple to raise prices again. Well, yeah. yeah, or find some other way that they're gonna try and make you buy a dongle or a oh, new yeah, that's, power that's right. cord. They're, or... they're gonna shake things up by getting rid of USB C. <laughs> yes. So, yep. They're gonna change uh, that. Denise they're really not gonna wants to know what's coming. <laughs> they're not gonna include the brick for it. You have to purchase any charger separately now. <laughs> I don't know what she just. Did. I don't know what she was trying to do. She didn't even use claws, so I don't think she meant to do it. Oh, see, Denise. Uh, wait, yeah, Denise Busick here got the FC Southwestern sixty five last time. Mm -hmm. you that's. Know, I almost did that. Yep. That's uh, the one then, that you because you don't have a sixty five. I don't have a sixty five or a sixty six, and I was kind of holding out to see if there would be a sixty six because like sometimes that'll happen. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I, I didn't get it, but I'm glad you like it. I'm glad it's cool. I, I'll get one eventually. US, <laughs> USB D standard. Yep. Yeah, you got to get Apple, and you got to buy the D, and then you got to, uh, yeah, so. The power brick will be separate. The, the cord right. and the brick will be separate. Yeah, yeah, but it won't be anything anybody has. And we'll get rid of the no. headphone jack, finally. And then the, you'll have to have a special <laughs> dongle for one of the pieces, Rodney too. dongles, yeah. yeah. Yep, that's what it'll be. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, here's uh, here's some Katy Perry. Uh, top of her head to say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. On off button will be <laughs> will be separate. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, you'll have to talk to it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, so thanks very much for hanging out with us tonight. I hope y'all have an awesome. I don't have a sixty six. No, I don't. I don't know why. Audrey does, but I don't. I do. Yeah. I don't know why I don't. I just never did. Um, I've got pocket sixty sixes here in my pen wells. Um, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on off button is touch screen only. Yeah, that's how it'll be. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the back will, instead of having the Apple logo, it'll be a screen, but it'll be e-ink and it'll be advertisements and you can't control it's them. Going, and the keyboard is going to be separately so you can take it off and then put it back on So the, for the computer. Yeah, but know? it's not going to have keys either. It's also going to be digital. So it's yeah. just a touchscreen keyboard like an iPad. Exactly. But you can take it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll actually be an iPad. It's built into the MacBook. But it's a computer. But it's a computer. Yeah. But it's got an iPad in it. And so that jacks the price up another 600 bucks. Yeah. So, um, I, look, I like Apple just fine. I've got I mean, we have stuff. Apple stuff. So we can, we can give them crap for it because we've we do buy their, their stuff. Yeah, yeah, we've been through their stuff. Uh, I like the old school candy bar phones. Yeah, like those Nokias and mm -hmm. stuff. Or yeah. I had a Sony Ericsson that was black and silver. It was like a, a really classic Sony Ericsson. I had at least one or two Ericssons, yeah. It was a super good phone. I, I saw one, we saw one in an old TV show recently. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's really it. Uh, slide out. Oh, slide out keyboard. The sidekick. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And it flips up. You have the sidekick. Yep. Yeah. That'd be dope. Uh, we did see the new razor uh, in a store. Yeah. We went to a store, y'all. Well, and, just to get a case and get yeah, out of there. There right. was nobody in there. I stopped to look at the razor and was like, oh, because yeah. the razor now has like the foldable screen. Yeah. It's kind of dope. My brother, has Big on Box, has the razor. If you yeah. want to see any yeah. reviews on that. You miss slide out keyboards like HTC. Oh, the HTCs. Yeah, I haven't had seen one of those ones in a while either. All right. Um, so we're going to go and uh, <laughs> eat some pizza. Yeah. Thanks very much to the patrons. Thank you very much to all of you who uh, have liked, commented, and subscribed. Or if you 
just came here. You've never commented. You don't yeah. like, you just, it's just, we're there in the background. Yeah, yeah. That's fine too. Yeah, that's cool. Welcome, uh, welcome lurkers all are, newbies and lurkers. Yeah, those welcome. Are our, those are our people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, welcome, welcome. And uh, if you have questions or things that I ought to know, uh, send them to... Uh, or it's something you Mike want to at see. Independence. Yeah. yeah, if there's something you want to see reviewed, send me a message. I'm responsive to that stuff. Uh, if there's some for some of you want, reason you want to send me a letter or send Audrey an ink sample for uh, our homemade ink vent, uh, <laughs> this po post office box here is, is good for that. Yep. If you want to become a patron, uh, become a patron. Do that, and then you'll be contributing to the show on like a monthly basis. It's dope. Uh, if you want to just send us pizza money, paypalcom independence That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, if you want to see me play games or build Legos, uh, go to twitch.tv slash Mike, and I do that. We, we need to do our Russia snacks. Russia snacks I this weekend. I did not. It was all on me why we didn't do it last weekend. I just wasn't feeling it. Yeah, it's fine. So, sorry um, that we didn't have it, but I'd rather do that when I'm feeling... Peppy. Peppier. Yeah. 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 So exactly. probably Saturday or Sunday. Maybe Sunday. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But, yeah. Um, hit that bell uh, on this channel and you'll not hopefully miss that. If, if you miss into... it, it's always there afterwards. That's right. Uh, we're going to do that. So anyway, those are all the things that we do. Um, Audrey has a blog right on the nail.com if you're into uh, nail polish. Nobody's into that. Show people your nail polish. Show it's that, hard uh... to show. You have to get it's it closer white. to the camera. It's um, not going to show yeah, tonight. Enough. I mean. Okay, that's it. We're out of here. Say goodbye, Audrey. Goodbye, Mike. Pet populations. <laughs> Think about what you put out in the world. That's Make what it a you better say. place. Spay new to your pets. That's what it say is. Say goodbye, Audrey. Say goodbye, Mike. <laughs> goodbye, Mike. <laughs>